hubby was digging up in the garden to plant some sunflowers and he dug up this sprouted oak from an acorn and he brought it in because he thought I might like to paint it. And I did a sketch and I think what I might do is do sort of a really abstract, abstract sort of mixed media painting of it. I'm not sure, I'm not sure where it's gonna go yet, but I've got some gouache already left over on my palette. So I think I'm just gonna play and see what happens. So what I ended up doing was grabbing my um, Derwent ink tense pencils. I just got these out of the tin the other day because they're always put away in a tin in my draw and I never use them because they, the tin is cumbersome to get out. So I put them in containers um, here on my desk. So I may try to play some with some of those. I had some leftover Liquitex acrylic gouache on my palette from yesterday's painting. And I added, I, I started thinking about all these colors. I've been really using limited palettes lately. And I have all these colors of Turner Acryl Gouache that were in the big set that I never use. So like, you know, these this uh, Carmine I haven't used and these peach colors, just so many different colors that I, that I haven't used, some purple and turquoise I haven't been using lately. So I decided to get them out and um, I don't know, just see if I could sort of abstract this in a while, in a way and have some fun with it. So I'm probably gonna start with the Derwent and then do some spraying and wetting and seeing how it goes. So, so far what I'm doing is I grabbed the deep blue Derwent ink tents and I'm just kind of really loosely making some shapes going along, not really trying to go along my original pencil drawing, just trying to loose, the drawing was a little tight. So I'm just trying to loosen that whole bit up. And then I think I'll spray it with water. Take a scraper, Let's scrape that around a little bit. I should have just set this camera up. I'm never gonna be able to handhold this. Okay. Grab my dryer and dry that a little bit. Okay, so I've got my Derwent Ink Tense pencils and my mixture of Liquitex and Turner acrylic gouache, my catalyst scrapers, and I did decide to set up the camera to see what, what comes of this. So it'll be interesting to see what happens because <laughs> I got no idea where I'm going with this. But I was feeling kind of down today, so I think some Playful explorations are just the thing the doctor ordered. And I'm gonna really try to work with some crazy colors. So I'm not expecting this to look anything like it does now when I'm done. Um, I wonder if I wanna have like a table edge in there. Sure. Let's see what happens.
so this white is that I'm using now is the what Turner calls their mixing white it's PW4 I think that's zinc white and I'm just seeing what happens if I lay over some of this background with that and I'm really liking how transparent this is and allowing some of those marks that I made originally to show through.
Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it at that before I overdo it. Which is so easy to do. So there's my little oak. And I actually felt so bad for this little guy when Don brought it in that I gave it a bowl of water and I think I'm gonna take it outside and plant it somewhere. Okay. Let's do a tape reveal. really fun loving the catalyst wedges and really really loving the idea of getting out art supplies that are put away neatly in their tins in my drawers and um, just playing with them experimenting with them you know using colors that are stuffed away in my drawers that I haven't been using it's uh, it's really uh, creatively stimulating. Really enjoyed this process. But yeah, love the marks on that little baby oak tree. Felt very expressive fun, relaxing, you know, didn't no pressure to uh, create in a specific way. So if you've watched me for any length of time, you know that I like to photograph my work on black. And so there it is on black. I think it gives, it makes the colors clearer. Baby oak tree. so I can replant them outside. 